Welcome back to more Lord of the Rings Online. In the last episode, I was having fun, but then my dog George started barking. He's so crazy. He's like, I don't know if you guys remember Taz from Looney Tunes. He's like that. I let him on the loose. He's like a little tornado. Anything that is in his path will just get destroyed. He's absolutely nuts, but I love him very much. He's, he's hilarious. The fact that he's always getting into trouble is kind of hilarious. He makes me laugh every day, and he's a very good boy. But get annoyed when I'm trying to record and he wants a petting, you know? It's like, hold on, George. Let me finish the episode. Then I'll give you a petting. I'll give you a biscuit. Anything you want. Yeah, I did say biscuit. I meant biscuit. All right, anyways. Anyways, you're not here for that. You're here for Lord of the Rings Online. It's funny because George, you know, I got George and I got his brother Dexter from the same litter. And... Like I mentioned, George is just absolutely nuts, but his brother Dexter, he's so relaxed. He's just always chilling, never cries, never barks. Very sweet and cuddly. And then George is just crazy. Okay. So I discovered steeping. I guess this is known as cave. But also... Part of the quest here, so good. Excellent. The white wizard has taken everything from us. Ah, I knew somebody would find us. And it's too late for me, but not for the others. It is a sad thing to watch your lands die. The man strains as he looks at you, clearly in pain from his wound. It is too late to save me, stranger, but I'm glad you have come. You can help us. But first, there is something you have to do. I, I cannot do it myself, and I cannot send Ramald in her condition. My son lies behind us, dead in the snow, where he fought orcs that these women could steal away. Will you lay him to rest? My sword is just here. I will not need it anymore. Lay it. Lay it with him. All right. That's pretty sad. So, I guess this is not the cave to Nona's place. I'm afraid of what is happening to these lands. You asked the wife of Aldstun's son if she wishes to lay tribute to Kilstun's grave. Radmald closes her eyes sadly and for a few moments seems unable to speak. At least she gives a quiet answer. This pendant, he gave it to me and I have treasured it always. If it is buried with him, it will be a part of me that lies with him. She wishes her cherished pendant to be placed upon her husband's grave. Okay. So let's go bury him. Don't want to break my legs, but that was wishful thinking. And here we have the body. Lots of orcs lay around him, so he went out in glory. Here lies Kilston, son, husband, and father of Byrator survivors. It is clear from the carnage strewn about him that he was brave and strong. Not many men could have felt so many hail orcs. He sacrificed himself so that the women of Byratora could escape. Here lies Brave Colston, who sacrificed himself so that the survivors could escape. So he's buried. Let's return to the cave. Looks suspicious, this radioactive snow over here. How do I get up there? Is it from the other side, maybe? Okay. 
Thankfully, these caves provide good protection, I would assume, for these survivors. It's a sad thing to watch your lands die. Thank you, friend. Outstan says no more, for he is in great pain. Saruman will pay for the crimes of the White Hand. This won't. This wound is no good. Please, stranger, find some arrow if you can. I hope the snow hasn't buried it all. I'll need plenty of leaves and some snow to pack it on with. Guess that's that strange snow I saw. We will patch you up, Thane. Try not to speak. War is upon us. Down with Isengard! What do ye want, stranger? We'll survive here, mark my words. We women of Byrator are hardy. We do not need your help. You notice Edhild's fingers have turned rather blue, but she shivers beneath her stubborn demeanor. You should bring pelts to these people so that they can survive here. Alright, let me get rid of all of this stuff. Then I gotta go kill some cats and pick up some roots and snow. Snowy Grim surely springing up due to the nearness of Nurzum can be found throughout the Hindles. There's one. Okay. Where exactly am I headed? Maybe down this way? Some cats here, snow stalkers. Pretty sparse. Snow cats of the Wildermore. New Slayer deed. Cat. Yikes. Broken legs galore. This one has a quest ring. Oh no, I haven't been getting the pelts. Oh no. Dang it. Well, I guess I only missed one. And he's still there, so let me go grab it. Gotta remember to skin the beast. Grab the pelt. There's some roots. If I'll hit 94 this episode, it's very possible. Almost there. 76,000 experience away. Okay, very good. After the high knolls, there's really only Balewood left for the season. That's really when the work really begins, because then I have to go do the completionist checklist thing and make sure I didn't miss anything and record the deeds, and that takes forever. Need four Grims. There's an 
Uruk's siege leader there. I'm gonna ignore him for now. I don't think I need to worry about him until a little later. Just gonna focus on the quests at hand. Cat up there. Need two more pelts and then one more grim. And four snow piles. You have driven back a number of the snowy grims that have appeared in the high knolls. So I need to go a little to the south and hopefully find those snow piles. And that should be my last pilt up ahead. Okay, good. Now let me head south and find these snow piles. Been pretty elusive. I haven't had a single one yet. Where are they? They're nowhere to be seen. Nowhere. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm not seeing any snow piles. There we go, right in front of me. All the ones I need. Good. And let's go enter the cave once again. How could we possibly survive this? Did ye not hear me, Hobbit? I said we don't need your help. The woman of Barator, a healed pauses to eye the pile of worn pelts. I suppose there is no use letting these fine furs go to waste. Thank ye, I suppose. War is upon us. Down with Isengard! Ah, uh, very brown and brittle. Not much life left in these poor plants, but it's something. I will try. Now hold ye steel, Thane Altstun. I'll fix you right up. The white wizard has taken everything from us. Where, where is Ronmalt, stranger? I must speak with her. She must heed my last wish. Altstun does not look well. It will not be long before he's gone. I am afraid of what is happening to these lands. Ronmalt, where are you, my child? Do you no longer see me, kind one? I am here, I am here. Aldstun, what is it? What do you wish to tell me? I'm here, dear one. I have not left your side. It's a sad thing to watch your lands die. Aldstun speaks to Ronmald in a fading voice. Dear girl, you have been a daughter to me ever since my son brought you home to us. I know you have not taken our have not taken to our rough way of life. I know you do not keep many friends outside of my family. 
I beg you for the sake of my grandchild, do not be alone. You must survive, and the child that grows in you must survive. My dear, you must learn to get along with the others. These are desperate times for the Rohirrim. I, I, I will try. I wish you would not leave me, but I will do my best. My child will make you proud, grandfather. Make you a proud grandfather. The thing does not respond. These lands were once so fair. Aldstun's breath slows and he grows still. The Thane of Byrator is dead, following his son into a wintry grave. I am afraid of what is happening to these lands. You have done enough for now, Kippen. Please rest. Take some time to yourself. We will bury the Thane and begin to pick the pieces. It is our turn to bear the burden of what befalls our land. Go. Come back when you are rested. Let's go look behind here. Find some solitude. Lots of cats and grims. Ah, I got disoriented. My mouse kind of bugged out a second. Wonder if this is what it's pointing me to? Blooming in the snow, it's a deed. So maybe similar to Flowers of the Old Forest, if you remember that deed, all the way back in Season 3, I believe, for Breland. Um, I'm not finding anything around here. I don't know. Oh, there we go. I see a little glowing spot. A nearby rocky overlook offers a fine view to the north. So I'm mourning the fallen. As you look out on the green hills and the great river untouched by Nurzum, you are filled with overwhelming grief and anger at the plight of Wildermore. Dead. Are many, and the vision fills you with grief. The forces of Isengard and Urzum especially must pay for what they've done. So it's all going to be the same text. The sound of women's voices from below startle you from the reverie. So let me follow the voices here. Oh, I don't want to fall that way. Let me come down a little bit more gently. I'm going the wrong way just in general. Go around the other side. Should be just around here, I think. On the lower slopes. There we go. These are desperate times for the Rohirrim. Don't ye come any closer. Stay back. The woman relaxes when she realizes that you are not an enemy. Yes, we escaped by our tour. We make north to cross the river into Earlsmead. There are others that went towards the Balewood. Madness. And others that went with the Thane's family who were pursued by orcs. We believe this is the safest way. So it looks like that the group split up into at least three groups. Let me go tell the news to our friend in the cave.
long climb. Very rocky area. Won't be able to climb that. If you're trying to stay hidden, I don't know why you would put a big lamp outside of the cave. These are desperate times for the Rohirrim. Other survivors? I agree with the others. It is madness to go into the Bale Wood. That forest is haunted. I'm afraid of what is happening to these lands. I, I suppose you must... Take leave to find the others then. I had hoped that you would be able to see us to safety again, Kippen. You think upon Ranmald's difficult situation. She cannot travel far while pregnant, pregnant, and the other women do not seem able or willing to care for her in her time of need. Yet, you must see where the others fled the massacre of Byratur. They may be in much need as well. What is to be done? What do you want? I thought you only spoke with the nobility of the cave. Ronmald, in her fragile state, needs the kindness of the other women encamped in the steeping cave. I am afraid of what is happening to these lands. They do not accept me. Do you see how they will not stand near me? Without Killstun and the Thane nearby, they will be openly unfriendly. I have always been kind to them, Kippen. I must get used to being alone until the child comes. Renmald is clearly isolated from the other women, a dangerous problem for a pregnant woman who must survive a harsh winter. These are desperate times for the Rohirrim. Leave us be, meddler. He'd rather talk to the nobility than us anyhow, eh? Clofod is indignant towards you for associating with Ronmald. He cannot make us like her no matter how many furs he pile upon us. I am afraid of what is happening to these lands. Don't ye involve me in it, stranger. I have no love for the girl either, even if the Thane wished things different. Edhild will not explain, despite the Thane's dying wish that Renmald should be accepted. The Thane's family pampered her enough. Now she must learn to fend for herself. We Bartor women can handle ourselves. So must she. These are desperate times for the Rohirrim. She thinks she's better than us, that's why. Has ever since she came to our little town from the south. From many fancy city. Frithworth resents that Renmald is an outsider. Strangers to Bartor think themselves better than us. But we always survive. Okay. So I gotta roar at the unkind women. So it's funny. It's like... It's just like real life. Just a bunch of gossiping women hating on each other. The women are unconcerned by your frustration. I'm just kidding, by the way. If anybody got offended, just settle down. Settle down. I gotta, I gotta get the humor sometimes, you know? I'm afraid of what is happening to these lands. You see, there is no hope to reconcile us. You must ask Renmald for a few moments to speak alone with the women outside. Yes, I will be fine by myself. Take as much time as you need. Take as much time as you need, my friend. Where am I? There they are. Wait, what? Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Why do you want us to talk outside? I am afraid of what is happening to these lands. What now, hmm? Are you telling us we should grieve for our own Thane, Outstun? Is our loss and not yours? I know why the outsider brought us here. We all heard Thane, Outstun's dying wish. Mind ye, he died to protect us, the women of Byratur. No matter what our petty squabbles be with that girl. These are desperate times for the Rohirrim. You ask Syl, Flawed, of what squabble she speaks. What is the women's problem with Renmald? It is no longer my concern. Now leave me be, Midler. 
You have struck me hard with grief, bringing me here to see my dear Thane in the ground. I'll be kind to the girl from now on. For him. Alright. I am afraid of what is happening to these lands. Why did ye bring me here, Kippen? I did not want to see him like this, buried, surrounded by wicked orcs. This was a cruel trick. Ah, it is a stab of pain to see Killstone this way. It hurts, it hurts. I loved him so. We all loved him, and oh, how he flirted. We all thought he would marry Edhild. But then he met Ranmald far away and brought her here, and his attention stopped. It was clear to us how much he loved her, and we could not bear it, so we hated her. Ah, uh, of course. But, but you have shown me now. Those days are done. So much jealousy and spite over a man who no longer lives. My spite is buried here. I will help his wife and his child. These are desperate times for the Rohirrim. You heard right, Kippen. I thought Killstun would be mine forever. And he let me think so until he brought Runmalt here. I'll never like her, no matter how hard ye try to stir pity in my heart when I look at her. I see that I was not good enough for him. Ah, women. Good old women. Can't live with them? I am afraid of what is happening to these lands. I shall miss ye, Killstun. Edhild buys her head, bows her head, and when she looks up again, her eyes are sharp and clear. I'll tell Runmald and see that the son of Killstun, my future Thane, will survive this fell winter. I swear it on this grave. I've seen enough, you troublesome meddler. Let us return to the steeping cave. I'll not give Runmald any more trouble. These are desperate times for the Rohirrim. Frithwin and Sailflod were kind to me when they returned. Edhild is still cold, but I sense that she has changed as well. What did you say to them to make them change their mind? You tell Runmald that it was private, but perhaps the women will tell her someday. Okay. Very good. I guess let's talk to them. Saruman will pay for the crimes of the White Hand. Actually, um, they're going to send me on some quests, so I think it's a good stopping point for this episode. I do hope you enjoyed it. I'm, of course, only kidding about all the comments, but hope, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.